This video will demonstrate a preventive maintenance procedure on the Megapower Surgical Generator manufactured by Megadyne. This video is presented by Rebecca Adkins, CBET. Rebecca is based in the Austin, Texas area and is employed by Rigel Medical as a biomedical sales engineer. The video consists of three main parts, monopolar output power tests, bipolar output power tests, and CQM testing. Hello, today we're here to show you how to test the Mega Power using the Unitherm by Rigel. First, I'll show you the leads that you'll need. Two standard banana clip cables, a patient plate cable with the white clip removed, a patient plate cable with the white tab intact, foot switch controller cables, bipolar foot switch connector, monopolar foot switch connector. First, power on the Unitherm, select the menu button. Hit auto mode. Enter the asset ID number. Select the green button for OK. Use the trim knob to scroll down to test sequence. Select Mega Power. Hit the button, next button. Visually follow the directions on screen. Power up the Mega Power. Unit passes the visual instructions. Use the monopolar A, connect the unitherm per the diagram, set the ESU to ACE mode. Select Pass. Show the diagram. The unitherm is connected to the ESU through the diagram. Select the red arrow back button. This screen is the preloaded sets per the service manual. Press start. Press start again. The test will automatically initiate. The test is complete. Press the start button. The unit will scroll through to the next test setting if the unit is passed. The next setting is set the US ESU pure pet to 20 watts. Press pass. Select start and the test will begin. Press the start button for the next steps. Set pure pet to 300 watts. Press pass and start the test. Test is completed, press the start button. Set A to blend 200 watts. Press pass. Press start. The test will automatically initiate. The test is completed, press OK. Set A, blend to 20 watts. Press pass. Select the start button to initiate the test. Once the test is completed, press the start button. It will step you to the next step. 
coag 1 to 20 watts. Press pass. Start the test. Test is completed. Set coag 1 to 120 watts. Press pass to advance the screen. Start the test. Test is completed, so press the pass. Set coag 2 to 120 watts. Press pass to advance the screen. Press start to start the test. Test is completed. Press the start button. Set coag 2 to 20 watts. Press pass. Initiate the test. Test is completed, press start. Press coag spray A to 20 watts. Press pass to the screen. Press start to initiate the test. Press start. Coag A to 120 watts. Spray. Press pass. And start to start the test. Test is completed. Set B, pure cut, to 20 watts. Press pass. Start the test. Continuing following the on-screen instructions. Set pure cut to 300 watts. to advance the screen. Start the test. The test is complete. Press the start button. Set pure cut to 200 watts. Change the setting to blend. Start the test. The test is completed. Set blend to 20 watts. All the time following the on-screen instructions. Start the test.
The test is completed. Press start to advance to the next step. Set coag 1 to 20 watts. Press pass and start the test. The test is complete. Press start. Set coag 1 to 120 watts. Advance the screen. Start the test. The test is completed. Press the start button. Set coag 2 to 120 watts. Let the test begin. The results are completed. Press start. Set coag 2 to 20 watts. Advance the screen and start the test. Test is completed. Coag B spray to 20 watts. The test will now begin. Results have completed. Press start. Coag B spray to 120 watts. For the a test, press start. The test is completed. Press start to, for the next step. Now to test bipolar. Switch the yellow foot controller leads in the back to the bipolar foot switch controller. Switch the banana plugs to the bipolar outlet and follow the diagram on screen of the proper connections. Return to the testing. Press start. The test has completed. Set the ESU bipolar to 80 watts micro setting. Advance the screen with start button. Start the test. Once the test is completed, press the start button. Set the macro bipolar to 80 watts. Advance the screen. Start the test. Press start. Set the macro to 10 watts. Press pass. Start the test.
the ohm set at 50, start rotating the trim knob gently up until the alarm sounds. Press alarm capture. Switch the modes to manual down. Turn the trim knob down till the alarm goes away. It should be between 50 and zero. Press alarm capture. Upon completion of the test sequence, a CSV file that contains the test results can be downloaded. A sample is shown here. For more information, send an email to sales at seaward-groupusa.com or call 813-886-2775. Other video guides are available as well at the website shown.